deal to export grain from Ukraine and Russia would stabilize global food prices. United Nations Secretary-General Antonio Guterres said at a signing ceremony in Istanbul. It will bring relief for developing countries on the edge of bankruptcy and the most vulnerable people on the edge of famine. And it will help stabilize global food prices, which were already at record levels even before the war, a true nightmare for developing countries. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and government officials from Russia and Ukraine attended the ceremony. The agreement known as Black Sea Initiative would free some 22 million tons of grain and food products that have been stuck at Black Sea ports since Russia militarily invaded Ukraine on February 24 this year. Ukraine's wheat and Russian fertilizer are major commodities needed in developing countries. Gefteres said the agreement, which took months to complete, Specifically, the initiative we just signed opens up pass for significant volumes of commercial food exports from three key U Ukrainian ports in the Black Sea, Odessa, Chebonorsk and Yuzhny. This initiative must be fully implemented because the world so desperately needs it to tackle the global food crisis. We count on the government of Turkey to maintain its critical role going forward and I am here to pledge the full commitment of the United Nations. I urge all sides to spare no efforts to implement their commitments. We must also spare no effort for peace. This is an unprecedented agreement between two parties engaged in bloody conflict. But that conflict continues. The World Bank said in a recent analysis on commodity markets that the Ukraine war has impacted on commodity markets with an increase in prices in energy, fertilizer and foods, which were already rising in the past two years. It said the war's impact could be longer lasting than previous shocks, because price increases have been broad based across all fuels. And price increases of some commodities are also driving up prices of other commodities. Stay up to date with the latest news on the United Nations and the world. Make sure to subscribe to this Facebook account by clicking the button above this video. See you next time.